hundreds of thousands of dollars in fraud. Victims left to pick up the pieces of their lives while he lived the high life and planned his next scam. We're the Tinder swindler and his victims now. I'm starting to become very, very paranoid because who am I with the car with? On February 2nd, 2022, Netflix dropped a buzzy documentary about the latest true crime sensation, the Tinder swindler. Over the course of two hours, the Tinder swindler tells viewers the story of Israeli scammer Simon Levaya, which is just one of the many names he's used throughout the years, and three of his victims who gave him money, credit cards, and financial support. Whether the victims were in a relationship with Levayev or merely his friend, he managed to convince him that he was in dire trouble and needed enormous sums of money. And as it turns out, Levayev has spent years pulling horrible scams like these. Now, thanks to Netflix, the world knows about Levayev's dark career of scams and fraud. And in the aftermath of the documentary's release, audiences are dying to know what happened to Levayev and his victims, especially the three highly sympathetic women featured in the documentary. Throughout the Tinder swindler, viewers will likely find themselves appalled and alarmed by Levayev's numerous crimes, and it's easy to understand why. Born as Shimon Hayat in Israel, Levayev has gone by many different personas throughout the years. The con artist legally changed his name to Simon Levayev after spending two years in a Finnish prison for defrauding a different group of women. In other words, he certainly has a pattern, and even time in prison couldn't put a stop to it. Instead, Levayev kept conning women in countries throughout Europe, constantly changing his location and stealing more money from his conquest to evade the authorities. Ultimately, his final mark and girlfriend Eileen Charlotte helped track him down in Greece, and he was arrested and convicted of fraud, forgery, and theft. However, he only served five months of his 15-month sentence. Director Felicity Morris and her team attempted to contact Levaya for a comment on the documentary, but as the epilogue of the documentary notes, he responded with a threatening voice message. Though Levayev was back to living the high life with a new girlfriend and a shady company that purports to offer business advice, Levayev was permanently banned from Tinder after the documentary's release. As the documentary opens, audiences are introduced to Cecilia Fieldhoy, an optimistic, romantic Norwegian woman who resides in London. She was instantly smitten when she matched with Levayev on Tinder, but after she fell head over heels in love with Levayev, who took her on luxurious vacations that included private jets and top-tier hotels, his true plan to extract money from her finally emerged. Fieldhoy ended up taking out costly personal loans and maxing out several credit cards to try and protect the man she thought she loved. When she discovered that Levayev went by several names and was effectively swindling her, she was shattered. In the documentary, she even admits that she had such trouble handling the situation that she checked herself into a psychiatric hospital for a time to protect her own well-being. Fieldhoy has promoted the documentary's release on her personal Instagram and still lives in London, but unfortunately, her Levayev-related struggles aren't quite finished yet. The epilogue notes that she's still in debt as a result of his scams. Along with other victims of the swindler, she created a GoFundMe to help raise money to erase those debts. Unlike Fieldhoy and many of Leviah's other victims, Pranilla Showholm was never romantically involved with Leviah. Though the two met on Tinder, they simply became close friends. Leviah would bring Showholm and others to nightclubs meant for super-rich billionaires and order top-shelf champagne and spirits, refusing to let anybody else split the bill. He's paying with cash and just making sure that everyone is having a good time. Sadly, what Showholm didn't know is that all of those trips were funded by Fieldhoy's loans to Leviev, and ultimately, Leviev started targeting Showholm as well. After taking tens of thousands of dollars from Showholm, she begged him to confess to his crimes. Instead of coming clean and apologizing, he began to bitterly threaten her, telling her that she would pay a price if she ever tried to meddle in his affairs. I know about the other people that you are frauded. You, double-crossing, I can tell you right now, you will pay for that for the rest of your life. Thankfully, Shoholm then connected with Fieldhoy, and the two became close friends, able to lean on each other for emotional support. Like Fieldhoy, Shoholm is part of a GoFundMe page, as she's still in debt after Leviev's manipulations. Also like her friend, Shoholm is active on Instagram and has been promoting the Netflix documentary as well. Ultimately, both Fieldhoy and Shoholm faced enormous, seemingly insurmountable obstacles when it came to tracking down Leviev. But after they gave their messages and other evidence to news outlets, fashion executive Eileen Charlotte happened to see the story and was driven to act. As it turns out, Charlotte was dating Leviev herself at the time, and she recognized a lot of aspects of Fieldhoy's story, especially the nearly identical messages Leviev sent her during their relationship. My money he spent on basically bullshit. Charlotte immediately began a one-woman crusade to bring Leviev down. Ultimately, she was successful in helping authorities apprehend Leviev in Greece while he was traveling the world with a fake passport. But unfortunately, Leviev left prison after only a few months and is now a free man. Charlotte isn't on social media, and as a result, little is known about how she's doing now. Frustratingly, she's also still in debt, and she's listed on the GoFundMe alongside Fieldhoy and Showholm, trying to recover what she can as an unfortunate victim of the Tinder swindler. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite true crime stories are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.